Hello, this is No ANL, and today I have an XSplit tutorial for you. Step 1 Download XSplit from their website www.xsplit.com. Step 2 Register an account on www.xsplit.com. Step 3 Boot up XSplit and log in with your account. Step 4 this is the main screen. The arrow is pointing to the scene sources. Now you want to add a source. You can see the arrow pointing to add. Once you click on it, you will reach the following screen where you can select your desired source. Screen region, live streaming, media file, videos, pictures, camera, game source. This is an example of the scene sources that you can use with XSplit. Step 5. Settings. Resolution, hotkeys and FPS. To change your resolution you go in the top menu to view, resolution and edit resolutions. You will reach the following screen and you can select the desired resolution. You can change also in the next step on this screen the hotkeys to make your life a little bit easier. To change your FPS you go in the main top menu to view and then frame rate and select the desired frame rate. Step 6. Live stream settings. The first thing you want to do is you want to add a new channel. So you go in the top menu to broadcast, add new channel and most likely just in TV Twitch. You will reach the following screen and you can enter your username and password that you have on twitch.tv. If you don't have one, you can register one at www.twitch.tv. In the next screen, XSplit will start determining the best server for you. Once XSplit found the server, it starts performing a bandwidth test. As soon as the test is done, you get the screen with the results and the recommended settings. As soon as you press finish you will get to this screen and you have to get your steam key from the twitch.tv website. Once you get on the twitch.tv website you want to go to your dashboard and on the right top corner you see streaming apps. Once you get on the streaming app page you can click on show key on the right top corner and your key will be shown next to the button. Since you have your key you can copy paste it into your property screen and fill out the information and settings and confirm them by pressing OK. Step 7. Live streaming and recording. If you want to stream or local record you can go to broadcast and select the option that you want to have or use one of the hotkeys that you have set up earlier. This was my XSplit tutorial. If you have any questions feel free to ask. Comment, like and subscribe. Have a good one everyone.